Greetings survivors and friends, Shadow Franks here and this video is about my wish list of stuff that I'd like to see added to Rust. Well I say a wish list, it's more of a haphazard collection of stuff that I've been writing down on the backs of old receipts and sandwiches and that I've scraped together in one place in the hope of one day making a video about it. Which is where we are right now, so uh, hope you enjoy it. And I'm not looking for validation with any of this, I'm very happy if you disagree with some or even all of what I'm going to say, just let me know below what you think and why and if you want to add anything to the pile then you can stick it down there as well. Also this is only volume one, there's more I could say but it was getting pretty long so you know I didn't want to bore you to death. But here we go. Alright I'm gonna get this out there first, we need proper tier two cooking with multiple pie recipes that give buffs. We've got all of the ingredients for the fillings, we just need something to stick them into. Also proper tea, not this offensive berry stuff. I mean, who the hell makes tea out of berries? Come on! Right, so things that should make sense. Campfires, tuna can lamps, etc. should have a glowing ember effect when off if they were lit recently. Uh, the tuna can wall lamps I think did at one point for a bit when they were first introduced but it was deemed to be a bug, not a feature. But I think this would definitely help you find your way around your base and also it would give you a clue as to how long ago someone had been active in the area. Torches should heat you up slightly, which would be a good trade-off. I mean, you know, it's dark, it's cold, do you light your torch to stay alive and risk being seen? Wolves should howl. I mean, come on. Other games have done this. Lots of other games have done this. I mean, wolves have organised themselves into packs now, it's about time they howl. Ladder hatches should line up with each other. I don't need to say any more about that, do I? Bucket helmets should be made out of buckets. Metal armour should also make a sound when you run in it, and bone armour should sound like a wind chime. Ice should be a bit slippery to players as well as vehicles, and keys should be needed for key locks again. Or, or just change them to something else because it doesn't make sense and I don't like things that don't make sense. Turrets. You should be able to put a fishing rod in a turret. That, that could be quite lucrative actually. I mean, we're able to insert trumpets. Talking of which, how about putting MIDI info on a note and then inserting that into a turret with a trumpet in it to play that particular tune when it detects someone. Manual turret control, which of course should go together with having CCTV cameras on turrets. And talking of which, searchlights should have a tracking mode like turrets do. I mean, come on. Before I go on, my sponsor today is Monster Legends, a free-to-play mobile game for Android and iOS. Think Pokemon on steroids and you'll be somewhere close. Collect hundreds of different monsters with different rarities and elements and then let genetics go wild by interbreeding them to create new species. Level them up, choose their skills and craft them into the ultimate team as you put them to work in action-packed battles. You can take part in a variety of PvP modes and conquer the adventure map, explore the dungeons or fight in real time against your friends slash enemies. One cool feature is you YouTuber Island, where you can find monsters created in collaboration with some of the biggest YouTubers. So not me. <laughs> but right now, for the first time ever, there's a special YouTuber challenge happening, available only for new players, that gives you the chance to win some of those YouTuber monsters absolutely free. Best of all, if you download the game now, using my link below, you'll get 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster Kaori to fast track the leveling process. But remember, this is a limited time offer, available only until March the 3rd, so go and do it now. Back to the video. Hardcore game mode. Now, what I mean by this is, in the beginning, Rust was a much more raw experience. It was bare bones and you didn't have all of this extra quality of life stuff and situational awareness that we have. It's true that now it caters to a certain type of gameplay. What I'm thinking about is an alternative game mode that could be chosen on servers to refocus the game on surviving more against the world rather than other players. Not going overboard on making things realistic, you have to make some sacrifices for the sake of enjoyment, just an alternative. I'd like a return to the UI only reflecting what you should be able to know with your senses and in your immediate vicinity. So get rid of the compass, the team system, contact, change the map, get rid of markers, make it so you have to use a paper map with fog of war again, or maybe even no map at all. No more outlines on items on the ground so you actually have to use your eyes. Perhaps get rid of safe zones and make environmental conditions more of a threat. I think there's probably a lot of other things that we take for granted now in the game, but that cater to a certain type of gameplay and that could be stripped back to make it uh, more 
interesting experience. But this is just an alternative mode that I'm talking about that could be chosen by server owners. Human skulls caught with a fishing rod should have the name of one of the enemies from your contact on them. That would be fun. Then you could mount it on a trophy and, and gloat. I think there should be a mini game for people to play while they're waiting in the queue screen. Perhaps a mini version of Chippy, like the arcade machine, or maybe Wacker Naked. There should be an indicator light on the phone when you have a voicemail. Map markers placed on below ground map layers should be a different color to above ground ones, or just different colors depending on which layer they're on. When talking to vendors, there should be a back option to return to the main options if deciding not to buy a boat, etc. DLCs. Now, I'm not against DLCs as long as they're fun and they don't break the game or give anyone an unfair advantage, like, uh, I don't know, a skin that changes the stats of an item, <laughs> something like that. But here are some of my ideas for future DLCs. Number one, sports DLC. Fancy a game of football? Well, how about this concept that I did a mock-up of a very long time ago, as I'm sure you can tell by the graphics. Basically, all you'd need is a new ball item and a couple of goals, or even hoodies as goalposts, perhaps. Deep Rock Galactic does this exact thing with a ball and two things you put on the floor that project goals and they detect when the ball goes through them and it keeps score. I'm sure a rusty equivalent could be made. How about golf? Set of golf clubs, balls and some flags. That's all you'd need really. Dodge ball or dodge rock. Actually that's technically in the game. It's just a load of balls really. Talking of which, Laser Tag, a DLC with laser guns, which wouldn't actually hurt anyone, unless you pointed them in people's eyes, perhaps. No, don't do that. A tag item thing that you wear on you, and some cardboard neon walls that you could put up to make a like, maze thing to run around. How about a sign DLC? And I'm not talking about the signs that we have that we can draw on, but the letters from the sperm kit, and perhaps the ones from the Cobalt Space Center, but an entire alphabet and numbers and everything so that you could put them on your base and really make some meaningful signs. And lastly, a weapon, tool, and armor display pack. Something with wall plaques, racks, armor stands, wall-mounted animal and human trophies even, and a Billy the Fish electrical item that could be hooked up to either your PA, phone, or boombox. Why not? Okay, now I think it's a bit of a shame that we've only got a wolf headdress. Perhaps you could count the deer as, as, as having a hat. But you've got these other animals that must be feeling left out of the whole headwear thing. Well, I think that this is where it's about time we brought balance back to nature. All right, where are we now? Oh my goodness, this isn't in any order at all. Okay, I'd like to see a notice board at the compound where you can advertise your services. Why not put it next to the phone? It would be really nice if you could preview a server's map in-game before joining. I'm not sure whether that's planned, actually, but... And you should be able to name boats. Perhaps with the spray can. I want Boaty McBoatface. Plus, there are just so many good boat name puns. Okay, controversial idea alert. The next three you probably won't like, or you might really like, I don't know. Firstly, and this has been suggested by other people, I can't take full responsibility for this one, okay? Make scrap costs for researching things a lot lower, but require a small amount of scrap for crafting each item where a workbench is needed. But why? Well, this keeps scrap always relevant and makes sure it continues to be a cost, no matter how many PPs you know or how large your Zerg is. For instance, once an expensive item is researched by a Zerg, they can then pump it out without needing to farm for scrap. But scrap needs to be a currency rather than just a way to research things, and it would make both scrap and crafted items more valuable. At least, that's how I think it would work. But if you can see a flaw in that, please let me know down below. Or even if you have a better idea. Spamming med pens should give you the shakes and affect your ability to aim. And C4 should require a few seconds to place rather than just being able to throw it at a wall and run away. We should be able to make weapons grade hooch in the water purifier by adding some corn. And if you really want to be realistic, some sugar and some yeast as well. Maybe an old sock or something. You should be able to hold E while looking at a food item on the ground to eat it straight off the floor. And you should be able to insert a flare into the Eoka to use it as a flare gun. Maybe even smoke rounds as well. Make it more useful. Reintroduce the starter shack from Legacy. Those things were great. I have very fond memories of them. You should be able to sell items with different skins separately in the same vending machine and price them differently for whatever you're selling them for. 
I hope that makes sense. Give us offset doorways, please. You can you can even do this in green hell for crying out loud. And I think it would be a really nice idea to have a new resource, cobalt. I mean that's it's kind of quite important really because of cobalt. I don't know what it would do. Probably something radioactive. Maybe nuclear power or mutating things or eating it. I don't know. Recipes. I was thinking of new forms of transport. Bicycles would be my first choice. I've wanted bicycles in Rust for a very long time and it's not that hard to do. Lots of other games have done bicycles. Generation Zero, Miscreated, other games. I just think the janky nature of bicycles would really be more in keeping with Rust. Plus you could have a basket on the front for keeping skulls in. A hovercraft! It's like a boat, but it can also go on land. It would be a lot faster on the water than on the land but we're talking versatility here. And it would be really good in the swamp biome, which needs to be a lot bigger, and with crocodiles in it. And last mode of transport, a wolf sled, because if we're getting pets, then we might as well. On to electricity now, and I think whether or not you use it, this is one area where a lot more things could be done. I do use it a lot, so this is a very selfish part of the wish list, but indulge me please. As has been mentioned on a concept limbo at some point recently, being able to sell electricity on to others, perhaps with some kind of electricity vending machine and a corresponding meter that the receiving end could have. I think this is one feature that would have an enormous impact on how people interact. Not only could it help solos and small clans, but it would get people relying on each other in an area, like a kind of symbiotic relationship. I'd love to see a TV screen display for CCTV instead of just having to sit down at a computer station to see the feed. Although I'm not holding out hope for this one. There are a few electrical items I'd like to see. First, a circuit board item for building condensed logic circuits with inputs and outputs instead of having to use all physical electrical objects. Uh, think Little Big Planet for this one. That's the example that springs immediately to mind. And if we could save these circuits, then it would mean we could create some really complex things and reuse them very easily. This is more of a creative tool, I'm thinking, for admins, etc. But maybe it would work in the game as well. Some kind of toll switch or door lock, which could be activated by paying scrap or another specific item. For instance, this would allow players to set up a kind of utility room where they could sell the use of workbenches and other items. A turnstile door that allows entry to one player at a time and that can be programmed to allow only a certain number through. And a single light bulb that could be deployed on the surface and set to a colour of your choice. Some features that I'd like to see. Uh, the ability to snap wires to set angles when running them with a keybind to toggle the feature on and off and a convar to specify angle increment because OCD. Remove the limit on length of individual wires for admins and owners. Uh, be able to rotate components with R when placing them on a wall for better circuit layouts. Animated neon signs should have a separate input for each frame so they can be made to display a single frame depending on which input is active. And the alarm should be programmable with custom sounds or choose from a predefined set of sounds. And lastly, why is it only the splitter that has the inputs and output positions the complete opposite to everything else? Can this be fixed, please? Right, I could say a heck of a lot more, and I have done in various concept limbos, but I think I'm going to leave it there today. So I'm going to say that that's my wish list at the moment. But of course, as with everything else, it's subject to change. What did you like? What didn't you like? Let me know down below if you've got some better ideas, or if you do things a bit different, then tell me all about that as well. Please leave me a like, sub to the channel, you can catch me streaming on Twitch, stay up to date with my content on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group, and support me directly with channel memberships via Patreon or my merch store, links are all below. Thanks again to my sponsor Monster Legends, and don't forget to click on my link below and check them out before March the 3rd, as that would really help me. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. I mean, who the hell makes tea out of berries? Come on!